Hey guys, my name is Doug with infotainment.com. Today I'm gonna to show you guys an exciting new upgrade that we now carry at infotainment.com. It's CarPlay capability and Android Auto capability for your Mazda. So those of you who have the Mazda Connect system now have the opportunity to get CarPlay, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto for less than $300. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. Now the upgrade itself is very easy. The first thing you need to do is ensure you have the proper update on your Mazda Connect system. Um, it's very easy to do that. I'll tell you how to do that in a minute. Once you verify you have the proper update, um, all you need to do is replace your media hub and the wiring that plugs into it. Very easy to do and it works in a bunch of different Mazda vehicles. All right, those of you who have the layout like this has the Mazda Connect system, so that's great. Um, now, what you need to do is go to settings, scroll over to system, scroll down to about, and go to version information. That's gonna tell you your OS. The very latest and greatest as of October uh, 2020 is 70.00. Um, and then the remaining numbers don't really make a difference. But those of you who have 29 or lower will need two USB updates. Those of you who have 31 or higher just simply need one USB update. Now it's very important to know, you have to have the proper update installed on your Mazda Connect system before you install your hub or the wiring. So if you don't have the 70.00 or higher update, you will need an update. We can help you with that. We have a separate video that shows you how to do it. It's very easy to do, um, but that is very important. You have to have the proper update on the Mazda Connect system before doing the installation. As you could see just a moment ago, this particular vehicle already got the update. So now we're ready to install the Media Hub. All right, now today we're working in the Mazda CX-5. Um, I will demonstrate now how to remove the dash panel so we can get access to this module here. Um, those of you who have a different style Mazda, we will be putting more and more videos out there. Um, you can also refer to YouTube. Sometimes people will show you how to disassemble your dash. Um, but it, for this particular video, we're in the CX-5. This panel right here just pops right out. You can use a dash pride tool, a regular screwdriver, or you can just kind of muscle it out. But basically, you're just going to want to get behind it. and pop it out, disconnect the one connector, and set it aside. Now we're gonna remove the upper panel here. Same thing, just held in with retaining clips. You can muscle it out, um, just get behind it, and that pops right out. This also has one connector for the hazard switch. So now we can set this aside. All right, now we're gonna use a Phillips head screwdriver or a driver to remove the two Phillips heads on the lower corners. And set those screws down. We can now remove the two 10 millimeter bolts. All right, now that the screws are out, we're gonna pull back on the cluster panel just a little bit here. You don't have to remove it completely, just a little bit. Now you can just pull out your head unit. Now there's a series of connectors behind it. Watch the bottom of it too, because this has a metal bracket. You don't wanna mar up anything underneath. Uh, but nevertheless, come in here, just disconnect these connectors. And set it aside. Something I wanted to note real quick is infotainment offers um, replacement screens. A lot of you with Mazdas will notice um, some uh, imperfections to the screen over time. This is something we repair all the time at infotainment.com. So just a little plug for our service department. I wanted to let you guys know that um, that is a service that we offer. All right, so now we're ready to run our wiring and we're going to replace our media hub. Now, one end of the wiring is molded. It has molded factory connectors to fit the media hub. 
and the other the other end is going to fit in the back of the Mazda Connect radio system. So um, these two plugs in this case are going to the media hub. So I found it easy to begin here and work our way back. So what I've done is I've just kind of fish these wires down here. And basically what I'm trying to do is just get them down below by the gas pedal so we can run it um, along the floor up into the armrest. So I'm gonna put some down here and then I'm gonna reach up from underneath and grab them and pull them down. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, now we have our cables run behind the dash. Now we're gonna run it along the floorboard. All right, since we went ahead and ran the wiring behind the radio, we're actually just gonna go ahead and put it back in. Why not? I did wanna mention on your Mazda Connect radio, you'll notice the two um, USB ports or the media ports. These two connectors will fit into there. So they are molded. So only one fits in one and the other fits in the other but you'll hear it kind of snap or clip into place. This one, which is the one you initially unplugged, you will not need it anymore, so you can kind of tuck it away. So at this particular point, all we need to do is just reinstall the remaining connectors into the back of the Mazda Connect unit. Now, before you slide it back into the dash, obviously make sure you have all the connectors you initially unplugged plugged into the unit. We can now go ahead and reinstall our dash panels. Uh, before I pop this in, I went ahead and um, realigned the cluster uh, bezel and just kind of put it back into place. Plug in our ignition switch. Pop that panel back into place. All right, now in the CX-5, the media port's right here in the armrest. Now to gain access to it, you just gotta pop off a few panels. Um, so we're gonna start with this panel here. You kinda just pop it up. You could use your dash pry tool, your regular screwdriver, uh, whatever you have handy, and just kinda pop it up. You don't need to completely remove it, just pop it up enough to where you can gain access to this panel here. And this just pops out. The bottom just has retaining clips, so it just pops right out. You could set that aside. Now, it gives you better access to that media hub um, by just pressing in. And this panel just kind of pops out here. Now you'll notice on the top and the bottom of the media hub are these little clips. You have to, uh, actually, if I go ahead and disconnect the connectors that are in it, it'll give you a better look. But you have two clips on the top and two clips on the bottom. So you have to basically, while you're pressing the media hub, just push those clips down And as you press them all in, it comes right out. Um, now we're ready to pop in 
our new media hub fits into the exact same slot and you heard it clip in. Now it's important, those of you who have GPS navigation, go ahead and remove your SD card because you don't want that in here. Go ahead and set that aside. Now we're ready to install it. So um, before I pop this all back together, I'm gonna go ahead and route our wiring up under here and then we can plug it right in. All right, so at this particular point, all we gotta do is get these two connectors over to the media hub. Um, there's no right or wrong way to do it. You can do it however you want. I just realized or found that in the CX-5 here, if you just drop it below this panel from behind, and you can just kind of tuck the wiring up under the um, floor console panel and then right into that cubby that we were just at. So I'll do that now. So as I mentioned, now that I have it run down, I'm just gonna tuck it behind this floor panel or this uh, floor console. And then I'm gonna run my wiring up into where the cup holder was. Now, if you pull it nice and snug, it'll stay nice and snug along that panel. Um, so what you can do is use a little bit of tape or a zip tie, bring in the excess cable. As I mentioned, this fits uh, several different Mazda vehicles, so we made the cabling long enough for the different vehicles. All right, so now we're going to install the USB cables. Again, they are molded to fit either side, one side uh, specifically for each one. Now, just like behind the Mazda Connect system, you won't need this gray one, the factory one that's gray. You can tuck that behind, zip tie it away if you'd like. But now we can go ahead and stick the bottom of this panel down into the little slot at the bottom. It goes down and then in. It's as easy as that. All right, so for the first time here, we're gonna go ahead and turn the vehicle to the run position. You notice it turns on, so we definitely have all the connectors plugged in and everything. So at this particular point, we're gonna let it sit maybe 10 seconds or so just to boot itself up. And then we're gonna shut the vehicle off. And then we're gonna go ahead and insert our map card. All right, so what you're gonna do is plug the lightning cable into your phone. You notice it'll say CarPlay. Now you have full factory Apple CarPlay in your Mazda vehicle. Such an awesome, easy to install upgrade. Um, so in the very home screen here, you have access to GPS maps while you're driving. Um, you can easily access your uh, music or navigation or your calendar, all right here from that home screen. When you press this button down in the corner, that also acts as your Siri. So if you press and hold that, you can ask Siri a question. Um, but here's all the apps. Now, if you go to Apple's website um, for CarPlay, it tells you which apps on your phone can be transmitted in through Apple CarPlay. Um, but just a brief overview, phone, make and receive phone calls. You can access Apple Music, Apple Maps, 
Uh, you can access it right here in your Apple CarPlay. Messages, awesome safety feature. As you're driving and someone texts you, you just press the notification. The system will read the text to you and allow you to respond using your voice, not your hands, um, staying safe on the road. Um, Mazda gets you back to your main home screen. Podcasts, audiobooks, um, you know, whatever you want to use. I like using uh, Google Maps here. You get the satellite view, almost like the Teslas. If you come in, uh, you can do that through the settings menu um, to be able to do the satellite view, which looks really cool. Uh, Pandora, all sorts of different apps you can put on your phone, which will transmit through Apple CarPlay. Spotify, another very popular one. Listen to all the music you want right here through your Mazda Connect system. We do this upgrade and so much more um, for a bunch of Mazda vehicles. If you click the link in this video, we will tell you all the different vehicles this works in and we'll be able to help you out. As I also mentioned for Mazdas, those of you who have a broken system, it's not working right, um, you, know, you know, your touchscreen's faded or, or, or ruined, that's all stuff that we can handle at infotainment.com in our service department. Um, more so than Mazda, we do all the big three domestic vehicles, uh, Ford, General Motors, Ram, Jeep, uh, Toyota, Nissan, we do all of them. We do, we offer factory equipment to all these different vehicles for not only CarPlay, but backup cameras, satellite radio, so on and so forth. Come check us out at infotainment.com. Those of you who are in the US, infotainment.ca. Those of you who are in Canada, thanks for watching.